Hi guys, it's Gav here from DancePlanet.tv. Day two of the World's Dance Championship from the Alley Pally is underway and I am here to give you my predictions. Two sessions on Friday the 14th of December, one from 12.30pm and one later on this evening from 7. Now my apologies um, for not being able to get my prediction video out in time for this afternoon. I have been in back-to-back -back meetings. I know that some of you come in, I said I would. It's, it's not all bad news, it's good news. I'm actually in talks, I've been speaking speaking with Chris Mason, uh, with other companies at the moment, but it's going to explode DartsPanel.tv into something else. There's going to be more giveaways, more content, um, lots more going on, lots more opportunities, and it's all for you subscribers. And we really, really appreciate uh, to where the channel's got. Without you guys, it would be absolutely uh, nothing. So like I say, the afternoon session is on the, underway. Um, Michael Barnard against Jose de Souza, Alan Tabin against Raymond Smith, Paul Nicholson against Kevin Burness, and Jamie Lewis against Cody Harris, who obviously won his game uh, yesterday. Last night was great. Let's hope that today can live up to it as well. So you'll see the evening sessions that I'm going to be giving my predictions on are right here. We've got uh, three first round matches, one second round match, all best of five sets. Uh, let's have a look at it. First up, we've got Danny Knopper against Royden Lamb. Then we've got Simon Stevenson against Ted Everts, Chris Dobie against Boris Goltsov, and Gary Anderson against Paul Nicholson or Kevin Burness. Uh, so let's have a look here and go through each game and give my predictions and see. Mine yesterday were terrible. I don't know. Well, I actually looked. A lot of you weren't. Um, uh, there was a, a few surprises last night, I think. I don't think, didn't see anybody in the comments uh, that got all of them and the uh, exact scores right. Um, let's have a look. First up, we've got Danny Knopper against Royden Lamb. Noppy, world number 47 at the moment. Royden Lamb, the PDC um, ranking is 191. Nicknamed the Wolf. What a great character he is. Let's have a look at Danny Noppert's year, um, how he's got on since moving over from the BDO. It's been fantastic. He won his uh, tour card at the start of the year. He won the Players' Championship recently in Ireland, uh, Players' Championship 20. He also made it recently to the semi-finals of the Players' Champion. Uh, the semi-finals of the Players' Championship. I think that he looks absolutely brilliant. I think he's the real deal. Give him another few years in the PDC. Um, he'll grow with confidence. And I think it's only a matter of time before he gets his hands on one of the big ones. Uh, he's up against Royden Lamb again. Um, quality player this year. Uh, won the Japan and Korea uh, winner of the PDC Asian Tour. So... Um, is certainly no mug. I I think he's I think he's brilliant. I don't think he's going to have enough uh, against Danny Noppert this evening. And I'm going for Danny Noppert to beat Royden Lamb 3-1. Next up, we've got Simon Stevenson against Ted Everts. Simon Stevenson, the mirror man, world number 84. Ted Everts, named Super Ted, world number 118 at the moment. Let's have a look at Simon Stevenson's year. Um, not much to sort of really write about as such. Last 16 of the Players' Championship, 19 in Ireland. Whereas Super Ted, um, winner of two PDC Challenge Tours this year, and also winner three times on the PDC Development Tour. Uh, I think two in England and one over in Germany. Um, I think this is going to be a good match. Uh, Super Ted, only 21 years old, uh, had a lot of expectations on him in the Worlds last year. Probably didn't deliver to his best standard. Um, this is a close one for me to call, but I'm actually going to go for Simon Stevenson to send Super Ted packing and flying home. I'm going for him to win 3-2. Next up, we've got Chris Doby against Boris Koltsov. Chris Doby, Hollywood, world number 36 at the moment. Boris, the Viking, world uh, 160. Uh, Doby, what can we say? Uh, coming to fruition, if that's a word? Probably not. Um, performing absolutely brilliant on the big stage now. He's got to the quarterfinals of the Players' Championship finals. And he also had a last 16 in the UK Open. He seems a lot more confident. He's 28 years old now. Um, he knows what it's all about. He knows how to win matches on the stage. Um, what a lot of players uh, can't seem to do, um, you know, on, on, on the big TV. I don't know much, much about Boris, um, if I'm being totally honest, or any of his stats. I had to have a quick look. Um, a lot of them are obviously qualifiers and different bits. He's going to have a real tough night against uh, Chris Dobie. But again, there's no mugs in this competition. I'm not going to write him off. But I think that Chris Dobie is going to win this one against Boris 3-1. Next up, it is the final game of the evening. It's actually a round two match. And I have gone for Gary Anderson to be up against Paul Nicholson. I think that Paul Nicholson will put Kevin Burness out um, of uh, out of the um, tournament. 
And I can promise you that it's actually on the Alan Tabin game at the moment as we speak. So what happens, I have not got a clue. I'm out here doing this video. Uh, Flying Scotsman, world number four against the asset, now the world number 64. Gary Anderson, what can we say? For me, I think he is the best player in the world, regardless of where his ranking is. He don't bother for the European Tour. He turns up, he wins stuff. He's won the World Match Play this year, the UK Open. He won the Champion Leagues of Darts. He won the US Darts Masters. He's won a number of the players' championships. When he goes to them, he don't turn up to them all. And I think he would have had his uh, hands on the Grand Slam as well, had Gerwin Price not have wound him up. Paul Nicholson, you know, what a turnaround he's had. Was on fire around 2010 to sort of uh, 2012. Um, he's a former, you know, winner of the Players Championships finals back in 2010. He reached loads and loads of quarterfinals in 2011 and 12 um, in the majors. Is you know a lot of players just drift out and never come back. He's been working hard on his game. He's a great player, but you know to run into Gary Anderson. In round two is really, really unfortunate. And whoever was against him, I would pretty much be tipping Gary Anderson to win. So this is nothing against Paul Nicholson. But I'm going to give him a set. I'm going for the Flying Scotsman to beat the asset tonight. 3-1. So as you can see, these are my predictions uh, for this evening sessions. Let me know what your predictions are. We had absolutely loads of comments on day one. I got back to most of you. Like I said, I don't think any of us got every single winner right, or certainly not all the scores right. For those of you that like a little bit of a flutter on the darts, check out Aces Acker. Uh, we've got a £20 free bet where you can sign up and there's going to be some uni bet uh, Premier League tickets up for grabs as well. Not just any ones, ones where you're going to be able to go and the winners will go on VIP for all back tour and stadium tour uh, and meet up with Chris Mason. It's an absolutely uh, fantastic prize. You can find it on www acesacker.co.uk and for those of you that want a little bit more hang out have some banter with me and mace um we've now got our patreon page which you can be part of there's some um benefits to that too you can check it out the link is below so like i say don't forget to add your predictions most importantly thank you to all that support me i'm nearly at 4,000 subscribers my darts room's done i'm going to be sharing a video of that very soon don't forget to please hit that subscribe button. Tell everybody that like darts, your family, your friends, please leave me a like, turn on the notification bell, and I'll catch you tomorrow for my predictions at day three of the World Starts Championships from the Ali Pali. Have a good one, guys. Bye. <laughs>